Temperatures dip again tonight. We want you to stay safe if you plan to use a space heater to warm your home. News for Jack's anchor Jennifer Waugh explains six steps you should follow before you use your heater. First, if you haven't used your space heater in a while, you want to make sure that you inspect it. Check to make sure that none of it is damaged and also that the cord itself is not frayed. If it is, do not use it. I spoke with a fire captain. He joined me on the morning show this morning and he said the other thing that you need to think about is where you put the space heater, specifically what's around it. If you have it by blankets, by papers, by loose items, they're going to heat up to a point where they're going to ignite and then you're going to have a problem. Captain Eric Proswimmer says make sure the space heater is at least three feet away from anything. Do not sleep with the space heater turned on. It should never be left unattended. Keep it away from pets and kids who can knock it over and cause a fire. Something else, do not plug a space heater into a surge protector or power strip. So we're always going to recommend you plug them into a wall. So directly into directly the Directly into the wall because if you put them on a on a expansion cord or an extension cord, they may not be able to handle the wattage that goes in. I don't know if you've ever unplugged one of these, but this cord will get hot yeah. to the touch. If you're doing that through an extension cord that's not prepared, it'll melt and that inevitably starts a fire. Proswimmer says they're investigating at least two fires that started yesterday that could be cold weather related, which is why it's also important to make sure that you have a working smoke detector in your home. If you don't, you can get one for free as long as you live in Jacksonville. You can call the city 630 city to set up an appointment to have one installed. Jennifer Waugh, Channel 4, The Local Station.